Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, I am Calypso Vibes, this is Creative Messages, S Messenger, Messages, same thing. So um, this year I have found myself to be shadow banned for speaking the truth, for speaking up about things that uh, I guess I might be predicting or speaking too much truth but that's the point of this channel right i'm i am in faith with god i walk with source you know i i'm um i believe in god i believe in the divine source i believe in the divine mother i believe in the divine father and i am grateful for my gifts i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful for the divine protection that covers me and my home and my family so in my eyes, no weapon forged against me shall prosper in 2024 and so forth. All right. Um, I'm not saying anything that people who have spiritual gifts can't see for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying anything you can't see on TikTok, YouTube. All this stuff is out there. If you dig and look, you ain't even got to dig deep to find some of the stuff I say on my channel. But I'm glad my channel is clearly resonating and to know that my gifts resonate at a high degree and it makes me so grateful to know that my videos and my content is um i guess ruffling some feathers and maybe exposing things i don't know i like again i don't even know what i'm exposing but clearly i'm exposing something that makes people upset and it ain't my problem i'm just reading what i see I'm reading what I pull and I'm reading what the divine source guides me to pull and see. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I have found myself, um, I changed my channel names based on the frequency I am being guided to pay attention to, right? So my other channel, which is Star C Messenger, that channel name is locked in. I'm not changing it. This one changes like a gypsy because... One, I find myself getting, <laughs> not getting the reach I feel like I should get, but spirit is telling me like, no, it's intentional, slow and steady. Cause then when you explode out there, you need to be ready for that, right? And I always say, no, I don't want big explosion. I like being behind the scenes. And spirit is like, well, then why are you getting mad that I haven't pushed you out um like that why are you mad you shadow ban why are you mad they censoring you and i'm like you know what you right spirit you right <laughs> i always say like that fame shit is overrated who the fuck wants that <laughs> right who wants that and i guess it's just that i want to be able to take care of my family and pay my bills and i think i just want to grow on youtube in a way where i grow a very organic community you know what i mean and um, where I'm able to help people, whether that's through my spiritual gifts here on the channel or in my store that I have where I make a lot of handmade goods, handcrafted goods, and where I, you know, sell sessions, healing sessions. And the, the, my healing sessions will grow exponentially in 2024 as I'm being pushed and guided to know what direction of healing I'm supposed to be learning and working on. So with that being said... Happy 2024, everyone. As we know, the real new year is not until in the spring, but for those who celebrate it now, happy new year, Merry Christmas, Merry Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you celebrate, right? I hope you had an amazing holiday and I hope you're ready to start 2024 off right. And I hope you are ready to do it in a very abundant, prosperous, motivated way, okay? And I hope you are taking your goals in 2024 very, very serious. And I hope you are walking in faith and devotion in the divine source in God, whatever God looks like to you visually in the divine mother and the divine father. I hope you're trusting your spirit guides, your angels and your guardian angels and your uh, ancestors and these ascendant masters and keepers of light who are here to help usher in the era of the light we've been in the dark era for a very long time we've been in the chaos area for era for a very long time the age of light I almost feel emotional saying that it's crazy it's like i gotta feel the purge of the earth 
the era of the dark era is coming to an end and, and it just, it's the way it is. And I almost feel emotional saying that like, oh my God, like my spirit and my ancestors have been waiting for this shit for so long. It's crazy. Like I want to cry for them. It's so bizarre. Like I feel waves of emotions like... It's so bizarre. I swear, as I said that, I almost felt like I wanted to cry. I had to catch myself. That's crazy. Like, it came out of nowhere, as I said that. I think we have many ancestors who have waited a very long time for us to wake up, for us to walk in our faith, for us to do our healing for our bloodlines, to do the healing on ourselves, to speak truth to light, to not be afraid, to be fearless. To trust God, to trust source, to trust our gifts, our spiritual gifts, trust what we're seeing, trust what we're feeling, trust our hearts, trust what we're hearing, trust, you know, trust what we're feeling, you know what I'm saying? All your, all your gifts, right? What we're tasting, all of it. So with that being said, I love you guys. And if you haven't been told today, I love you and I appreciate you. And I thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, everyone who's turned on the notification bell, who's left a comment down below, who watches my videos all the way through because that's what's needed to continue to push me out on YouTube so we can gain more subscribers so that we can find more of our Earth Angel Collective or Star Seeds, Empaths, Crystal Childs, Indigo Childs. Dolphin babies, whatever you resonate, earth seeds, chosen ones, whatever you resonate as, as a label. How about just soul family, earth, you know what I mean? Earth star, soul family, all right? So we can find more of our, our collective who is ready to heal, who are healing, who are doing the work, who are doing the shadow work, um... I hope I'm creating a safe space for you and I thank you so much. So please make sure if this video has found you, has found you intentionally that you watch this video all the way through. Please give it a big old like because it is free. It is free support. It's a trade of energy. You watch, you get nourished, your spirit feels better. You find a like-minded tribe. So please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, 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 and please turn on that little notification bell so you can be here when my videos go live and premiere and so you can leave comments to help push me out. You can leave a heart. You can tell me where you're from. You can tell me how this reading resonated, how you found me, etc. right? With that being said, um, I am going to shake up the shaker so we can shake out any stagnant energy in my space and in your space while watching. I shake something in. All right, so my little spiritual shaker. So y'all can see sun and the moon, you know, love it. Connect to the ancestors and the spirit guides and the ascended masters and our guardian angels and the keepers of light and our soul family. I want to say these video readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes. As I have to say that for a safety of warning because I am not a therapist. I am not a shrink. I'm not a doctor, so if you are suffering with mental health issues, I advise you please talk to a therapist. Um, these videos are all to just bring awareness, um, feed your spirit, feed your soul, guide you, you know, however you feel guided by them. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this video doesn't resonate with you, then I have plenty of other videos you can check out. I promise you found my channel for a reason. Find the video that resonates. There may even just be parts that resonate. Not everything is meant to resonate because these are collective readings that the Earth Collective is supposed to hear. But I know that anyone that finds this channel is absolutely on my vibration, on my frequency. I'm a high vibrational, high, fre high frequency person. So... I've asked spirit to send me to those who are ready to see me and those who are 
on the parts of the journey where I can help them. All right. So make sure you are subscribing. And with that being said, um, yeah, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't get offended. Don't take anything personal. Um, I will never scam you. I will never message you. So please don't get scammed by anyone. I will never message you. YouTube is my only channel. So if you're getting messages from anywhere else, you're being scammed and robbed. Um, also, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's jump into it. All right. I've done the shaker. I've already pulled the sacred site. As y'all know, I do everything different here that you can't find anywhere else on anyone's channel because this is my way of doing things. But at the base spirit, the base energy we have, it is Capricorn season. Happy birthday to fellow Capricorns. I am a Capricorn son myself. So happy birthday. We have ambitious, serious, shrewd, practical, resourceful, to hard working time, cautious, enduring, patient, be disciplined, but be wise, right? Um, it, it's an earth element, so we got a lot of earth energy in the air, stability, the physical world, right? The 3D world, like, you know, uh, uh, the material world, right? Um, what we can see and touch, right? Stability, the physical world, nature, practicality, solid foundations, be patient, being rooted. This is all about being grounded, connecting to Mother Nature. People don't understand the winter time is very much to hibernate, to rest, to ground. There's a reason why the animals retreat during these seasons, right? And they rest and you sleep more. That's intentional. But it also means when the sun is out, you need to be intentional about getting up, going outside with your feet in the ground, getting sun for at least 15 minutes every day and letting the sun kiss you so you can get downloads from source so that the sun can kiss your skin. All of these good things, you can get vitamin D, all the nutrients you need, everything. There's so many things we aren't told about what that sun does to us. But the first thing it does is open up your third eye. It decalcifies your penile gland. So you tap into your spiritual gifts and you get downloads on your crown chakra, right? So being rooted and grounded and you connect with Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Mother Kai, okay? Then we have Saturn. So it's very Saturnial energy in the air, right? And we also are in a Mercury retrograde. I think there's a few other retrogrades happening as well. We have discipline, right? Slow and steady. Delays. So things are going to be delayed. <laughs> a lot of things is slow and steady wins the race. So it's about patience, tests, spiritual tests happen during this season. You have to be practical. You need to save. You need to be resourceful. You need to be mature because it's about maturity. Self-control is about self-control. Not splurging, not spending crazy, um, not being destructive, um, using your resources wisely, limits. So being limited in your resources and, you know, going out doing what you, you know, usually want to do. It's endurance. So again, long and steady, slow and steady, keeping pace right? Um, it's about structure. Looking at the structures you have in place, how can you better build a system around yourself that is, um, how can you get structure in your life? How can you get disciplined, right? Creating new systems during this season and following them, whether that's wake up, yoga, meditate, go outside, ground, go running, walk the dog, eat fruit, right? Brush teeth, right? I shower in the evenings. Um, Sada Guru and a, a few other beautiful spirits. Um, I don't know. I, I can't say beautiful spirits because I don't know. Um, there's a lot of people that are on these websites. And I keep hearing um, some people don't have the agenda that their face says it does. Or their mouth says it does. So I just want to say like he has good wisdom of certain things. And I think all of them have certain good wisdom. But I don't. I don't worship or follow anyone's teachings. But there was one thing he did say is showering at night was better. And I totally agree. I don't shower when I first get up. Because I think when you shower at night, you wash the muck of the day away. So I'm a nighttime shower. And um, I just wash my face, brush my teeth, deodorant. You know what I mean? That stuff in the morning. And um, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I shower at night because it helps soothe me to sleep. And you do it in lukewarm water. 
best thing you do lukewarm i kick it up hot when um when i first get in and i go lukewarm before i get out right so um yeah it's better i sleep better sleep solid um helps you rest helps you decompress the day away like i said it's really about more of a spiritual washing the day away and that's really important Right. And we don't think of it from a spiritual standpoint, but even showering and taking baths was always meant to be a spiritual ritual. And it's a luxury. Many, you know what I mean? Um, people, there's people who are not able to shower every day or every other day, whatever you shower. Right. So make sure you make it a ritual of gratitude when you're in the shower. Pray everything you are grateful for when you are in the shower. Give God thanks. Give thanks to life. Give thanks to everything while you are showering, all right? Or taking a bath. And I implore y'all to start taking weekly baths. If you're like, oh, I don't have a bath. I implore you, my love, at your next house, build a bath. Buy a house with a bathtub. I need the public and the collective to start asking for bathtubs again. We're like, oh, but it's not convenient. Listen, the life we have come to condition ourselves about this convenience has become toxic and detrimental to our health and our spiritual health. It is why we don't take care of ourselves. It is why we are always on the go, 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 go. Some real go ninja, go ninja rap. Like, bro, we got to chill out. We got to decompress. We got to, you know. We aren't our parents. We aren't our grandparents. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying they worked 10 times harder than we did, right? And they didn't have half the luxuries we have, right? And they don't understand why we're in such a rat race and don't know how to, and then yet don't want to spoil ourselves. Like, uh, it's crazy how many people be like, oh, I don't want to wash my hair. That takes too long. What? I don't want to take a bath that takes too long in the cleaning process. Like what happened? When did we get so disconnected with taking care of ourselves that cleaning after ourselves is like, oh my God, I can't stand it. You know what I mean? In the sense of like, take the bath. If you got kids, make them kids clean after your bath. Be like, this is mommy bath time. Go in there, you know, tell them go sprinkle your little flowers in there. Show them how important ritual is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Make them a part of your ritual. All right. It's just like the mother. I cook y'all clean. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's this, it's this give and take, right? You understand what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe it. I do dishes too. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I do make them do major. My children do majority of the dishes as they've been treated and given this love dish that I made. You know what I mean? So we need to just stop cheating ourselves and not feeling like we aren't worthy. We aren't deserving of shit. A bath, y'all. Damn. And cleaning up after ourselves or doing our hair, washing our own hair, braiding our own hair, whatever the long rituals are. Those long rituals exist for a reason to stay connected to ourselves. We are so disconnected from ourselves. It's why there's so much disharmony in the world and there's so much codependency and, and attaching to other people. What? <coughs> Sorry. When everything we need is right there within ourselves. If we want to tap into it and are willing to tap into what's right there, it's right there for us. Literally. If we're willing to do the work, all we got to do is do the work on ourselves and know that we are worthy you are worthy of that bath you are worthy of the pampering you are worthy of the spa day you are worthy of that massage you are worthy of a day off all right love you love on you felt the need to compel to say that all right so the place is on oh lord <laughs> Anurada Pura, Anurada, Anura Darupa. Yeah, I'm gonna stop trying to think I'm bougie. Anurada, Anurada Pura.
There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see what Anuradhapura gets us. Anuradhapura, give me one second, y'all. I'm looking in the book. I'm not really familiar with this one. And this might be the first time in a while that I've gotten this one. Why am I not seeing Anurata Pura? Mm. All right, y'all. This thing's starting to get on my nerves. I'm not finding it. There it is. It's in Sri Lanka. There we go. I'm sorry, y'all. That took a minute. I apologize. Yeah, 152. Alrighty. So, the energy focus is transcendence with the elephants. It is in Sri Lanka, North Central Province, Sri Lanka. Where the bad bitch that come from Sri Lanka? Makes me think of, sorry. Coming into Sri Lanka. Sorry, I thought of Nicki Minaj. <laughs> All right, my bad. <laughs> Can't help but sing it. <laughs> now, first, it's in I'm a Monster. Sorry. But yeah, there's Sri Lanka. And the energy focus is transcendence. Long-held desires and frustrations are distorting your view of the present. Negatively affecting your self-esteem. Oof. Anuradhapura will help you to change all this and awaken you to a different story. Imagine stepping upon the moonstone shown at the bottom of this card. Mm-hmm. Right? These ancient carved slabs were placed at the entrance, entrance to Buddhist temples. Uh-huh. See the swans revered for their ability to separate the good from the bad. You too need to distinguish what has been beneficial in your past from what was destructive. A band of four sacred animals. An elephant, a horse, a lion, and a bull symbolizes the inevitabilities of birth, old age, disease, and death. While a ring of flames acknowledges the pains of passion and the never-ending spiritual life, in the past, have you been led into unhappiness by your desire for earthly gains? You are called to begin to transcend these cravings by focusing on the spiritual life. Start with a small daily act of service, such as chatting to an elderly neighbor. There you go. Transcendence. It's about changing our habits, our outlook. Stop being driven by the money and the power and the fame. Acts of kindness, acts of service. Humility. Are you troubled by uncontrollable thoughts or emotions? Do you often react without consideration? Your thoughts have great power as they become words and deeds. Mastering them is vital if you are to change your life for the better and transcend your previous difficulties. Anuradhapura is the home of the beautiful stupa, stupa Runwanweli. Run, Saya, the largest of its kind in the world, which was built C140 BCE and is said to house relics of the Buddha. Oh, it's Buddha! Buddha! What up, Buddha? It is shown here surrounded on all sides at its base by elephants, which symbolize mental strength. You need to tame your mind and direct its power positively, saying, Control your thoughts. What y'all watching, what you eating, what you thinking, all will create the future you want, this new world. A daily practice of meditation can help you with this. The power symbol on this car is a sword-wielding lion, king of the beast, an emblem of royalty associated with courage. In Sri Lanka, the lion also represents the native Sinha, what is it? Sinhalese whose name means lion people. 
The elephant and lion symbols on this card show you that you have the wisdom, courage, and strength to take ownership over your thoughts and actions now in a manner befitting your highest good. Right. Flanked up by two elephants, the Buddha greets you. Know that you have the potential to become a Buddha yourself to awaken and see things as they really are. The life of the prince who gave up his earthly power to pursue his spiritual quest and who became the Buddha shows that enlightenment can be achieved in this world. You can be free from faults and mental obstructions by owning up to your actions and learning from them. Enlightenment is not about reaching a destination, but about taking responsibility for your life now. And in so doing, discovering a way, a better way to live. Dang. So it says a prayer to what is it? Shaka Yamuni. All right. So there's there's that. I don't I don't like invoking goddesses or gods I'm unfamiliar with. I try to be more responsible with that now. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that any of these gods and goddesses aren't beautiful and light beings. But I like to do my homework first before I have y'all invoking gods or deities I've never heard of. You know, that's just being spiritually smart. But we thank you, Buddha. I know you, Buddha. So we got Lord Buddha on the map. All right. Coming through. We thank you, Lord Buddha. All right. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get y'all some locations. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite today. I'm actually going to go straight into our Keepers of Light and our Ascendant Masters. There's the Ascendant Masters. Where's the Keepers of Light? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm over here burping. Which is natural. Where is the keepers of light? Bro, my thing is getting on my nerves. Really? Y'all, I have so many decks over here. If you can see, you know, you know. And it can be frustrating sometimes. Let's go with these. And then use these because I don't have any use these on the channel yet. And I guess those I don't know where my keep there's the keepers of light. All right, and the keepers of light. All right, y'all. I got my decks for us to use quite a bit. <laughs> All right, long reading. Maybe not. I'll pull, I'll keep them short. I hope you've been well. Hope you're being safe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you and I see your support. I read the comments. I'm actually one of those channels that replies back to your comments. So if you drop a comment, your girl's going to respond back. Now, if I had like 50,000 comments or 10,000 comments, something like that, I can't respond back to everybody. But just know I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much. And I appreciate everybody who shares my videos out. All right. Ancestors are sitting on the bottom. And Archangel Regal. Regal. Regal, Regal. He is letting us know justice, harmony, and solutions. So some of y'all are getting some divine justice things coming back into balance for you. The number 36 could be of significance. Could be 36 years old. 28. Birthday could be on the 28th or you could be 28 years old. Ancestors, historical connections and purposes. So you got justice, harmony, and solutions. I think your ancestors are bringing you justice out the gate. Just got to say Historical connections and purposes. Some of y'all ancestors is bringing y'all justice. Bringing y'all um, cosmic justice and some things and some harmonies into your life. What else do you want the collective to know, spirit? Who did a law in harmony? I pray to the Divine Mother. I pray to the Divine Father. 
What's it that you want the collective to know? Please guide my hand with love, light, and protection. I pray to God. I pray to divine source. Please cover me with your divine light and protection. What is it that you want the collective to know? I thank you, God. I thank you, divine source. I thank you, divine mother. I thank you, divine father, for your guidance, your love, and your protection. I pray that anyone watching me, may they be covered with love, light, and protection. We're humble, we're grateful, we're thankful, God. Thank you. Amen. So it is. So be it. I pray that if there's any negative or evil being sent to this video, may it be sent back tenfold. I pray that anyone watching this, may they be divinely protected. And I pray may I continue to be divinely protected and guided. And may my home continue to be divinely protected. And may my family and loved ones continue to be divinely guided and protected and so it is we have wisdom of the magi five mental clarity five could be a significance could be a life path five birthday could be on the fifth could have a five-year-old five could just be of significance but we have wisdom of the magi so some of y'all are a magician some of y'all might be witches don't take that like oh witch please don't start some of y'all might be spell casters you know what i mean shaman but mental clarity, some of y'all might do scrying. Some of y'all may have psychic ability of divine sight. You can see things, maybe even see into the future, but you have mental clarity. 37 could be of significance, it could be 37 years old. Creation, soul expression, something new. Something new is on the horizon. Animal totems, animal energy and power. Some of y'all have, this is why I said shaman. Look at that, confirmation. Birthday could be on the 27th, could be 27 years old. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got deep connection to animals. You have animal-like energy and powers. Very powerful coming through. Like an animal whisperer. We got journey guide, number 22, master number. Birthday could be on the 22nd. Could be 22 years old, but we have a master number showing itself. Um, could be a life path 22. Travel, change in location. Some of y'all are about to be traveling. Some of y'all are about to be changing. Some of y'all are getting a new um, a new spirit guide and they're a journey guide. They're like a world traveler, I think. But yeah, or you're going to be a journey guide, something like that. You're going to be inspiring people to travel. Nine, the heart, the healing heart. Sorry, nine could be of significance, but they could be on the ninth, could be a life path nine. Love, acceptance, and romance. Some of y'all are getting new love. Some of y'all's current relationships are blooming. It's also about loving yourself, accepting others. Up from the depths, releasing difficulty. Some of y'all are rising up out of the depths of difficulty. Look, you're leaving all that smog, all that confusion. All that unseen, unknown, the hidden world. You know what I mean? Anybody keeping secrets from you, it's going to come out. Have the number six here. It could be a life path six. Birthday could be on the six. But up from the depths, rising up from the ashes, reborn, rebirth. Some of y'all been going through spiritual rebirths. Sensitivity and strength, number three. It could be a life path three. The birthday could be on the third. Hopefully I could just say the numbers and y'all get it. Sensitivity and strength, tapping the forces within. So you're, do you see the angel feather? Some of y'all are working with your angel guys. Some of y'all are earth angels, but you're tapping forces within. Some of y'all might have had a past life where you were like a blacksmith. Or some of y'all might work with your hands, like your crafters or crafting something. But you're tapping into your spiritual gifts and your and your powers within. 40, ascended masters, devoted spirits with specific intentions. You could be 40 years old, devoted spirits with specific intentions. So some of y'all are working with ascended masters and ascended masters are working with you, guided with you. They're devoted spirits with specific intentions that help you in different parts of your life. You can find out what ascended masters are working with you. We have Archangel Haniel, joy, blessing, intuition. So we got two angels on the map. We got Archangel Regal and we got Archangel Haniel. Number 15 could be of significance for somebody. Joy, blessings, and intuition. So it's saying um, use your intuition. In this picture, I also see a chick being born. So somebody might be giving birth to something. 
um, new projects, new job. That's why they travel. Some of y'all might be traveling, changing houses because and because you might be changing for a job, traveling. Um, new love might be long distance. Some of y'all might be traveling for your partner because your partner might be long distance overseas somewhere. Um, it's saying use your intuitions, but you got joy and blessings coming to your way. A lot of good news here, y'all. Some of y'all are finding love. Some of y'all are getting clarity in your purpose, your spiritual gifts, what you want to do. You're coming out of the difficulty. You're planting seeds, hence why we got creation, right? Something new, giving birth to something new, watering those those ideas. You got animals guiding you. A lot of y'all got spiritual animals trying to guide you. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely. We got y'all. Some of y'all got the stag, the fox, the leopard, the owl, and the hawk. So we got 29 connections, partnership, contract, commitment. So yeah, you got partnership, contract, and commitment coming through. Number 29 can be of significance to you. That's that's about connections that you're making, partnerships that you're making, contracts. I told y'all, some of y'all getting new jobs. Y'all are going to be signing contracts, making commitments. Some of y'all are going to get new partnerships. Some of y'all are getting married. Mm -hmm, this is all that. Y'all going to be moving abroad. But 29, making new friendships. Some of y'all going to be meeting new soul tribes, new friends. That's going to have you traveling internationally. Awesome. I love this. I love this. I love this for you. I love this for me. I love this for us. Because <laughs> this is the collective and I am the collective too. I don't think I'm above y'all by any means. This is a, this is a soul tribe. All right, spirit. What else do you want us to know? Tell me down below some of the places y'all have wanted to travel to. Some places you've wanted to move to. We have spirit guides. Yep, your spirit guides is coming through. Um, Number 30 could be of significance. Could be 30 years old. Looking for signs. Philosophical discussion. Supervision. So this is about your vision. Your penal, I'm telling you, your third eye opening up. Being able to see things. We have the yin and yang here also. It's about balancing yourself. Some of y'all are coming in balance with yourself. But yeah, you got your spirit guides sending you signs. They're saying looking for the signs. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities they're sending. But your spirit guides are with you. Then we have the top light activation, evolution of spirit. Actioning of plans, uh huh. Transcendence confirmation on that transcendence with Buddha. Look, this is Buddha coming through again, but yeah, it's telling y'all to meditate, open up your chakras, get some chakra cleansing done, some chakra healing done on your body. Mm -hmm. Listen to sing, listen to chakra cleansing bowls every day to cleanse your chakras, keep them balanced, do some outdoor grounding as well. You can even get a grounding mat if you can't go outside because it's winter time. Invest. Be like, oh, they expensive. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I will give y'all a website once my stuff come in and once I see how it works. I just spent um, like two, three hundred dollars on a grounding mat and stuff like that. So while I'm doing these readings, I can keep my feet on the ground. So. Definitely pay attention to that, y'all. But we got evolution of spirit, actioning of plans, transcendence. Get yourself a grounding mat. Connect with source. What is it that you want the collective to know, spirit? We got temple secrets. Mm -hmm. That's that. What's that? What I say? What's done in the dark coming to the light? Then I. That's too many spirit. We got, by the way, we got 19 on that. So we got 30 and 19. Then we got 
language of light, temple secret, soul family. Some of y'all finding your soul tribe. So I also could speak of um, somebody possibly being in a temple. And there's secrets in your temple, by the way. There's things you're not seeing being told the truth. Uh-huh. Some of y'all are oracles. We got inner oracle showing up. You got that. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all got the gift of divine sight. Your seers. Psychic. Clear, clairvoyant. Clear audience. Some of y'all can um at what is it what is it called where you could travel like meditate like that in um remote view. There you go. Some of y'all know how to do remote viewing. If you don't know this stuff, find out what your spiritual gifts are. Definitely get a reading done on that. If you know how to find out and talk to your spirit guides yourself, do that too. Sorry, I didn't realize my thing has been rubbing the bottom of this thing this whole time. Maybe this is all spirit got to say. There we go. All right. I think that is enough. Because I said I didn't want to walk with each past life. So, yes. Confirmation. Excuse me. Y'all need to get a past life reading. Number 24. I'm seeing the peacock as well. But it says a cultural experience. It's behind you. Regression. Some of y'all have past life issues coming to surface right now. Um, possibly having you regress, deal with the trauma of your past life, y'all 24, um, spirit is saying it's behind you live in the present. Let the past stay in the past, but some of y'all need to do some past life healing and recover some of your past life memories, um, recover your soul fragments. It's called, um, soul Recovering soul fragments, be recovering past life, past life uh, fragments. Energy medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, deep rest. Spirit is telling you deep rest, drinking teas, taking care of yourself, taking vitamins, supplementing, grounding, meditating, listening to high vibrational music. Um, listening to crystal sound bowls, doing meditating, grounding outside in nature is super important. Embracing your sensuality and staying devoted to a, re a regimen, getting, getting structured, disciplined to a healthy regimen every day. Cause you are very fertile right now, celestial fertile. So you can easily get pregnant. You may already get pregnant. And if you're pregnant, you might be giving birth to a new idea, a new project, a new business, a new job. Light body, number 20, independence brings comfort, past restrictions, ancestral healing. So this is why your ancestors are here too and past life. Some of y'all are healing your ancestral bloodline. Some of y'all need to look into ancestral bloodline healing. That shit is so important. Y'all don't understand how much stuff from our past lives and from our ancestors affects the present karma from the past your ancestors karma it is real and it is a thing and i implore you to start healing it and looking up healing it i'm telling you if you need those services email me my email is on the front of my youtube plate youtube page <laughs> can't even talk so if you need to message me you know go to my email it's in the description down below i will absolutely Hook you up with that service, that session, whatever it is you are looking for. If you're looking for reading, that too. I do all that. Or I can guide you to my best friend who does certain things that I don't do. 20, light body. Independence brings comfort. Again, this is about a light body. Opening up, opening your channels to the light. Past restrictions, ancestral healing. It's about past restrictions coming to surface. And, you, you know, you are tapping into your light body, activating your crystal light body because your body is crystal, y'all. It is a crystal light body. And that's even an activation you can get, by the way, to activate your crystal light body. Then we have soul family. Uh-huh. Happy reunion, support, order from chaos. So 
to saying that spirit, your spirit guides, God, divine source are sending you um, your soul family that you may have shared with past lives that you got a lot of love for. Hell, your lover that's coming is someone you may have loved in previous past lives. That's what I'm getting. But y'all about to get around your soul tribes and have happy reunions. You're going to know them. You're going to feel it. And you're going to be supported. And y'all going to build a beautiful support system. Y'all might even create a business together. All of y'all. See, here's the thing. When you... When you're in your soul tribe and your soul family, there's no ego. There's no scamming for money because y'all aren't moving from a place of money. So when the money comes in, ain't no fighting. Oh, I want 40%. I want my 30%. You don't do that shit. That ain't that low vibrational shit. So I'm going to tell y'all now, if you ain't healed that kind of stuff, you ain't finding your soul tribe, soul family. This ain't for you. This por This portion ain't for you. If you still itching like, man, I ain't giving nobody no 50%, no this, and I ain't giving nobody no cut of my money, you got a lot of healing still to do, okay? Okay. Ain't nobody fighting with money when you with your soul tribe, all right? Temple secrets. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all might be in churches, temples. This, I mean no disrespect with this part. Take it how it resonates for who it resonates there is secrets not being told to you. Some of y'all are discovering secrets in these fraternities or, I don't know, order something that you're in. A temple, a church, an organization. Secrecy, isolation, saying spirit is telling you at this time, observe and listen and pay attention. Things are not as they seem. Ritual magic. There's ritual magic in the air going on. So y'all be safe out here to number 32. But there's temple secrets with ritual magic being done. And it's saying secrecy, isolation, observe. And they look like a young person. Oh, Lord, I don't like the vibe I just caught. I'm going to shut up. Um, We got the number 30, 19, 24... 14, 20, 28, 32. Spirit is telling you, observe, investigate, listen to things, pay, really pay attention to what's happening to you and uh, the groups you're around. Because not all of y'all are around your soul family, contrary to maybe deceit. Maybe that's the secret. 17 inner oracle is saying yes yeah, spirit's telling you use your inner oracle use your intuition use your psychic gifts you are the channel deja vu some of y'all are going through deja vu as you watching me self-fulfilling prophecy see the balance some of y'all are scales there's justice being balanced back in the world so don't be on the wrong side y'all i'm telling you the scales are being balanced that's what spirit is showing us so if we've been suffering cases of deja vu. This is why spirit is putting things back in the balance, cosmic balance. And then we got language of light, rediscovery. So it's like rediscovering yourself, right? Being rebirthed, being reborn, humble wanderer, walking in humility, uh-huh, communication with source. Listen to light language music, y'all. I'm telling you, start your day. It's, it is such a good thing to start your day like that. And like do dancing, just like meditate, just do like dancing, like free flowing workout exercises, whatever come to your mind while listening to chakra bowl cleansing and playing light language, language of light communication because you're getting downloads. If y'all want a light language person to listen to that, I like JJ. I think her name is JJ. It's JJ Activations. Look her up. Then we have... Number three. So we got 18, 17, 32, 28, 20 was on the bottom shelf. And number three now. Archangel Michael. Heart of a warrior, divine protection. So y'all, some of y'all are being protected by Archangel Michael. So we, that's the third Archangel we got. 
right? He's saying you got a heart of a warrior. Stay strong. Stand firm in your morals. Stand firm in your values. You are under divine protection. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Confirmation on that. And at the top, there was light seeker. Uh-huh. Some of y'all are going on a light quest. Visionary. Confirmation on your eyes. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the downloads you're getting while you're on meditating. You're going to go on a light quest. You're going to be given a vision, mental strength, resilience. You're being fortified, made stronger. Why does it look like a baby Buddha? Number 21. Look at all that jade. Some of y'all need to start wearing jade. Oh, that's tiger's eye and amethyst. Jade. Start wearing jade. It's a very spiritual crystal and amethyst i implore you Here, go see what that noise is. Take Nala with you. The Miriam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. What's that say? Sacred vision. Super pay attention to what you're seeing. The divine sight, the downloads, the visions you're getting, your dreams. The Miriam. It's also telling you to forgive. Choose to forgive in order to heal. Forgive yourself and forgive others. Remember that love has no boundary. See the love and light in all. I'm telling y'all, we got super confirmation on vision. Some of y'all going to be getting downloads. Y'all going to be seeing things with your eyes wide open. At the bottom, we got Maha Avatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Some of y'all's third crown chakra and third eye is opening and expanding. You understand that we are all unity consciousness. You understand that... We're connected to everything. And then under that, we have Sanat Kumar. There's that light again with light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Sanat Kumar is telling you to shine your light. This is my light. Um, and we got Omora, awakening presence. The universe is with you. This is confirmation on your pr protection. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Elmoria is with you as well. See, he's wearing blue like Michael, right? That robe got double blues here. Thank you, Elmoria. Then we got Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Then I say, I don't want to brag or nothing right now, but I'm saying, did I not say pay attention to your visions and your downloads and your dreams? Truth is being revealed. This means the veil is coming down. We're going to be seeing exposures, people getting exposed, things getting exposed, the end of an era, truth is being revealed, deep insights are coming from heaven, heaven, the angelic realm and the astral realm, Lady Ven is coming through, it's an end of an era, Sally, thank you Elmoria. Thank you, Maha Avatar Babaji. Thank you, Lady Venus. Thank you to Miriam. Thank you, Horus. We got Horus showing up. Horus out here protecting some of y'all too. With Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. This is confirmation, just confirming what Buddha was telling us. To train your thoughts, right? Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful at this time. Miraculous change. Miraculous changes. Miraculous changes are occurring. I felt like I couldn't say that. It didn't sound right no matter how much I said it. Holy Spirit. There's Sanat Kumar coming out for sure. Hi, Sanat. 
Thank you, the leaders of the keepers of the light. Lord Ganesh, mm -hmm, Holy Spirit, El Moria, Hilron. Oh, this is too big. We got the Divine Director, Kuan Yin, Paul the Venetian, and Holy Amethyst. And I tell y'all, start wearing amethyst, that it's very holy, very spiritual. Divine Alchemy, move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. Paul the Venetian experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. The, 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 the divine, let me slow down. The divine director. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Then with Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be loved. This is about loving, being loving and kind, right? Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. I think I actually have enough and I've read enough. All right. So we're going to take that. And we got Lord Ganesh is letting you know infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So your spiritual support and connection to these keepers of light and ascended masters and your spirit guides is getting stronger. It's increasing. Yep. And you're getting more spiritual support. And obstacles are being removed. Infinite abundance is coming to you. So it's saying don't worry about finances and resources. It's saying just focus on your purpose, your life purpose, your soul purpose, what passions drive you. Do some creative things, some creative outlooks. And I'm saying this to myself as well. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm, this, is, this is the divine source coming through. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Saying God got your back. I don't know what else y'all need to hear other than God right sitting right here in in this reading, El Moria, again, awakening presence of the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So not only do you got obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing with Lord Ganesh. Then you got the Holy Spirit saying, remember that love is real. Miracles work. Her spirit has your back. And then you have wear a cloak of protection and love. The universe is with you and has your back. An awakening presence. Then we have Hilrian or Hilron, Hilarion, divine healing, because his thing, his cloak is green, so this is definitely the heart chakra. Honor your sensitivity. It's saying honor your spiritual sensitivity. Retreat to wait. Retreat to recharge and heal. That it's okay if you are sleeping a lot at this time. Just make sure you are hydrating and grounding and doing healthy habits. Your light can support others. You can be a beacon of light to others. Allow yourself time off to heal, y'all. Divine healing is at play. So if you need to take breaks more than often, it's okay. Do not mentally beat yourself up. Sanat Kumar, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Light activation is happening at this time with Sanat Kumara. And then we have Horus showing up. Cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Uh-huh. With cosmic gateway. Some of y'all are opening up your spiritual gifts. You're interdimensionally traveling. That's what that tells me. All that good stuff. See what else. One of these days, I'm going to get under an hour. Again. It's, it's, sometimes I do, but it's rare. I just saw a volcano. See that how that resonates. At the bottom, we have mother. 
the light attributes, nurture, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy, and giving birth to life. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all going to be giving birth. The shadow attribute, whether that's a project or a child. The shadow is smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. Say that how that resonates in your own life. Then we have student, light attributes, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. So you, you're open to being a student. You're open to learning something new. Shadow attributes, arrogance in pursuit of destructive knowledge. Oof, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. So some of y'all ain't putting that knowledge into action and your arrogance and pursuit of destructive knowledge. I don't know about that, but some of y'all might be looking into them darker arts and you need to be careful. And then we have trickster. Yeah, that's that Mercury retrograde. That's that Loki energy. Light attribute, transcendence, convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. And the shadow is manipulating others through duplicity. Ooh. So I don't know who out here being duplicit to stuff. But that shit is saying like. Somebody's a magician. Somebody's doing magic. Somebody's tricking people. Deceiving people. Illusions. To students. People who are under them. Maybe like mothering them. Coming off as like a mother. To children. Or to younger students. But really you're really a trickster and deceiving people. Uh-huh. More child energy coming through. That's a confirmation. Ooh. And the children are magical. Got some kind of magic gifts or magical energy. We got Seeker, Companion, and a Prince. Ooh, some of y'all got a Prince coming for you. And then Avenger. Desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Then we got warrior. All right. This card is getting stiff. And then we got poet. All right. So then we got prince. Light attribute. Romantic charm and potential for power. Shadow attribute. Using power for self-aggrandizement. Ooh, ooh. Y'all better be careful out here. It's hiding. I don't know why these cards ain't giving me good vibes. I'm feeling like a lot of these cards is in the shadow side. Somebody's hiding something. It's like a magic trick. Hiding the flowers behind the back. But for some of y'all, some of y'all are finding love because that was here. And going to be charmed by a prince. And some of y'all are being studious and studying esoteric astrology, numerology, all that good stuff as you should. Wiccan, you know, aligning with the seasons and all that good stuff. But be careful not to be in the destructive stuff, y'all. That, that arrogance and the pursuit of destructive knowledge. And then we got poet. Light attribute. This means this is a good talker. Someone who's a good talker. Philosophical. Knowledgeable. Express soul insights in symbolic language. That's the light attribute. Shadow. Turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. Uh, it's that music. That's like uh, music with hidden, hidden subliminal messages, right? Or... Uh, Someone turning their gift of gab to a negative or destructive effect. You know, it's like negative spell casting, right? Speaking death or negativity over someone. Avenger, light attributes, desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. 
where it's like a map on their back. So this is like global, international. This is big. Right? Like deceiving many. Right? Uh, but also um, some of y'all are doing righteous work for the world. Like you're, you're here to help and heal the collective and you're being a student studying and learning right now nurturing yourself some of y'all are giving birth to a prince who who's who's here to change the world right it says restore but the shadow attribute is resorting to violence in the name of a cause mm -hmm. that's the shadow side of an avenger when you gotta resort to violence for this cause of oh no, this person is the bad guy and the villain. And then, and then if you got to harm, wish harm or harm someone to get what you need, your cause ain't as just as you want to proclaim to be. Then we got mystic. Light attribute. Re revels in intimate union with the divine. Some of y'all are mystics. Um... Or this mystic trickster that I saw, right? The the trickster card, right? Is a is a mystic, is a seer, etc. Shadow attribute, delusional r rapport with the divine, mm -hmm. lying, delusional. But some of y'all have real intimate union with the divine, and you have the gifts of a mystic. Tapped in the source. Confirmation if you were needing it. Gambler. Light attribute. Willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. Taking a gamble. Trusting yourself. Taking a risk. The shadow attribute. Relying on luck rather than hard work. Some of y'all ain't willing to do the work and hoping to get lucky. Put the work in. Somebody's also a gambler. Somebody might be addicted to gambling. I felt that like literal as well. All right. Um, child, eternal, light attributes, determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes, shadow attributes, inability to grow up and be responsible. So, you know, this is people who aren't willing to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. Meaning, uh, codependency. Looking for other people to keep you safe and uh, relying on other people's opinions. Seeker, light attribute. It's like Moses going on a journey. It's like going on a spiritual pig pilgrimage through the desert. Light attribute, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So that's that student. Seeker and student right there in the light. I feel many people are in the light if you found this channel. But there are people in the shadow. People looking, seeking forbidden knowledge, traveling lands. That's why I got that map on the back. Traveling many lands to find hidden knowledge, hidden secrets. Um, using taboo, forbidden magic to harm others is why I saw that. Inability to commit to a path once found. This is also about people not staying committed, right? Right? Relying on luck rather than hard work. Inability to commit to a path once found. Being codependent on others. Want other people to take care of you. Not willing to grow up and be responsible and blaming everyone else but yourself. Delusional rapport with the divine. Uh-huh. Restoring the violence in the name of a cause. Uh-huh. Talking bad about people. It's why the poet turns a lyric gift to a negative or destructive trait on uh -huh. the prince using power for self and self aggrandizement on uh -huh. arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge and willingness to translate knowledge into action smothering or abandoning children instilling guilt in children for becoming independent yep not wanting children to grow up not not taking care of your children not spending quality time with them rotter rotter etc yep we have warrior, the light attribute, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. And then there's the flip side of people watching me called the light side. That's why I love this. 
Take it how it resonates. Maybe someone you know, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. But we also need to hold ourselves accountable and not be delusional and act like some of these traits aren't us because some of these traits have been me and are me. Like there's two I still need to work on. Strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, self-sacrifice, and conquering the ego. Shadow, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. Oof. Warrior spirit. Some of y'all are out here fighting the good cause, being an avenger. Some, <laughs> some are lying. That's why we got that liar side too. Gambling that people won't find out the truth and won't be exposed. Companion. Light attributes. Loyalty. Tenacity. Unselfishness. Shadow side. Betrayal by misusing confidences. Loss of personal identity. Oof. Companion. Some of y'all being betrayed by your partners, by someone you love, close friendship. Close, that really comes off as a lover. Betrayal by a lover. Who was only using you for codependency. Oof. That hit hard. That resonated. I felt that one. And I was even shuffling like this. Sound like many people are dealing with codependent people. And I'm not shocked. Codependency is a trauma response when you don't want to go get therapy or counseling. Even when people you love implore you to do so. Where the hell was that card? That don't belong in here. Where the hell that card at? There it is. What the, how the hell does Keeper of Light card, Lady Portia? Well, there we go. There's a hidden extra gem, Lady Portia, coming in with divine order. But there will be order stored out of the chaos. That's why I felt like that was tucked somewhere. Lady Portia coming in with the divine order saying, do what you feel is right. You are being encouraged. If this video is resonating heavily, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. The divine, divine source, God is watching you. Your spirit guides, the ascendant masters, the keepers of light are watching you. Everything you do has a karmic choice. And there will be balance restored. And every debt you make in 2024, I'm telling y'all, is more than it would have been in any other time. Because spirit is, it is the end of chaos. It is the end of darkness. It is the end of destructive energy on this, on this earth. It is the end of an era. And either you're a part of the solution or you're a part of the problem. Be on the right side of justice in 2024 and do the right thing and speak up. Use your voice. Do not be afraid. Take a stand. Fight fight for what's right because that's what we're being called to, to do, y'all. And seek knowledge in a positive way and share it. Share what you're seeing. Share what you're hearing. Whether that's with your gifts or in these temples, whatever secret places, if you know secrets, speak up. Shiva, karma release. You hear this? Karma release. Because spirit is cleansing people of any negative karma who are doing the right thing. Y'all better take advantage of this. The end of a cycle. Debts are paid. Choose your destiny. Shiva. Lord Shiva coming through. Letting, a, letting us know we're in a karmic release. Sincere. Yes. Bring me my card that just fell. Not a confirmation at the bottom. With divine intervention at the bottom. My back be killing me. I'm getting a better chair. Sweet. Divine intervention. So look at this. We got karma release, right? The end of a cycle. Debt to pay. Choose your destiny. And then right next to Shiva is my yacht. Talking about way up your options. Choose the highest good. Because divine intervention is going to come in play. Y'all going to see God in the flesh. 
And that, and cause that, cause divine order, there will be order out of chaos. Divine order is coming. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is happening and you are being observed. Uh-huh. And the heart against the feather. If you're unfamiliar about Mayat, it's when you die and your heart is weighed against the feather and your ass could spend time in purgatory, Right. When they, when they, when all the karma's racked up, right, and your heart is weighed on the feather, and you sitting in front of God, right, and you know maybe the ascended masters, and they ask you why didn't you do the right thing at the time, right, and you're like, oh, I didn't know what to do, I was scared, and so God will say to you, did you not trust me? Did you not believe in me? Did you not have faith in me? Did you think I would let harm come to you for doing the right thing? For speaking up? For walking in faith? For being a warrior? You were afraid of dying. Who said that wasn't meant to be? Sometimes some people have to die so many can live. It's called sacrifice. But if you know you come back, you ain't afraid of death. So many people are afraid of death knowing you come back, especially when you've done good. They absolutely want to birth the good back in here. Some of y'all got to stop being afraid of doing the right thing because you're going to get taken out of what? This hellacious place and be back amongst your family for doing the right thing? Shit. Say less. Listen, you are a child. If you are a child of God, God ain't letting shit happen to you on God's watch. Know that. That's a big fact. God got you. Believe that. Believe your spirit guides got you. Believe your ancestors got you. Believe your guardian angel got you. Metatron and Sandal Fonts. We got two angels, powerful angels showing up, talking about sacred connection, synchronicity, divine connection, understanding lessons. It's about a sacred union coming together. And, and meeting your soul family. Some of y'all gonna miss out meeting on your soul family and your divine counterpart playing around. Mary men not doing the right thing. And for those of you who are, God bless you. I'm so happy, so proud of you. Continue to speak up. Continue to do the right thing. Continue to walk in the light. Continue to walk in your life purpose. Continue to heal. Continue to give a helping hand and be of service to the world in any way you can. It's not always about money. That's what this reading is about. Mary Magdalene, sacred vessel. You are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. Mary Magdalene. Somebody might be the reincarnation of Mary Magdalene. I don't know why I got that vibe. Serapis Bay. Paradigm shift. Activation. To grow. Make the necessary change. Some of y'all need to make the necessary change. We are in a paradigm shift. We are shifting. There is a shift happening on the earth. It is here. We are being activated to grow, make the necessary change. Paradigm shift with Serapis Bay as an Ascended Master. It's the Ascended Master's deck, by the way. Love it. It's beautiful. Rummy. Mystical knowing. Breaking boundaries. Personal experience of God. Some of y'all are connected to God. God is with you. You are doing the work of God right now. Breaking boundaries. Mystical knowing. So you are mystic. See, mystical knowing and a mystic. You are a mystic. Breaking boundaries. Personal experience of God. Lady Portia. Overcoming limitations, karmic release, let go of the need to be right, 
So you are overcoming limitations. It's saying overcome, let go of the need to be right. You are releasing karma at this time. Confirmation on Lady Portia with divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Confirmation on Lady Portia being here. Then we have Kuan Yin, confirmation on seeing Kuan Yin, enlightened action with the lotus. Choose compassion, move forward with grace. So move with compassion and empathy, y'all. Move with the grace and lightness of the lotus. The Lumorians, clairvoyance activated. Some of y'all's clairvoyance is being activated. Psychic awareness, sensitivity, trust your intuition. Lemuria is coming back and the Lemurians are here with you, helping you, guiding you, assisting you. The blue ones. You're beautiful. Joan of Arc, sacred activist. Do not be afraid. Stand up for your beliefs. Be Joan of Arc. Be bold. Be remembered for something or fall for anything. Sanat Kumar, a confirmation on that light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Sanat Kumar, open channel, signs, codes, downloads, and sacred information. You are an open channel. You are getting these downloads. Pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, and your dreams. And the visions you have while meditating. You're getting sacred information and while you're meditating in the sun. Ishtar, inner learnings, follow your heart. Truth prevails. The truth will set you free and the truth will always come out. Inner learnings, follow your heart. And not Jesus coming out is the last card. Bam, love Ishtar. Ishtar is that divine feminine sensual energy. Jesus, acts of service. When you serve, the universe serves you. Let me repeat that again. Jesus is saying what you give out, you will get back and then some. When you serve, the universe serves you. Jesus, acts of service. Do some community service, y'all. Do some activism. That's why sacred activists is here. Give to charity, donate clothes, donate money, donate time, energy. Then we have at the top, Guru Ram Das or Guru Ram Das, miraculous moment. Harmony surrounds you. Expect miracles. Expect a miracle, y'all. Harmony and positive energy is all around you. Let me get y'all a place real quick. Then we wrapping this up. This shit, one of my longer ones. Oh, God was coming through hard. Living room, comfortable space, something about the living room. In a mystic haven, enchantment, esoteric, magic intrigue, hidden wisdom. Uh-huh, some of y'all are going to a mystic haven. You travel in there in your sleep probably. It's telling you to study esoteric, y'all. There's enchantment. Uh-huh. You're going to get hidden wisdom downloads. Some of y'all are going to go on a spiritual pilgrimage to a mystic haven. We got tavern coming out. Could be of importance. Somebody's living room is of importance. Family gathering. Comfortable space. Then we got art exhibition. Creative showcase. Curated gallery. We got tavern, a bridge is of significance, San Francisco bridge or any bridge. Connecting pathway, overcoming divides. It's like the rainbow bridge. Um, this is talking about traveling between the realms. That's why you got Mystic Haven. Connecting pathways, but also a literal bridge. Birthplace of Durams. I think this is birthplace of dreams. 
pursuit of goals, belief in possibility, something about an airport traveling, cemetery, and a hotel, and an elevator. Could be of significance. For somebody. I'm not about to show every card, y'all. I want to get y'all this information and then wrap this up. Is that it, Spirit? Anywhere else? Laboratory and amusement park. So we got airport, travel hub, departure, arrival, airport lounge. I'm going to show you all anyway because I, I do like transparency. Cemetery, resting place, memorial stones. Which means pay attention to these places or they are of significance for you. Or Spirit is saying pay attention to these places. Hotel, hospitality, comfortable stay, travelers, retreat. Sincere, living room, comfortable space, family gathering. Sorry if y'all hear my son in there. He's playing a game and he's like really loud. Birthplace of dreams, pursuit of goals, belief and possibilities. It's the divine spark. Spirit is saying believe in your goals and dreams. Believe anything is possible. Elevator. Transportate. This is like transport. And I'm telling you, confirmation on this transport in between realms. But something in an elevator, vertical transport, transit between floors, accessible accessibility. Something about an elevator is of significance because I have pulled this now twice in a row this week. And cemetery. Who won't nobody ain't dying in the elevator like Prince did? That's crazy. Mystic haven, enchantment, esoteric, magic, intrigue, hidden wisdom. Telling y'all, I think some of y'all are traveling to a mystic haven, like this mystical, beautiful place. Amusement park, thrilling rides, carnival fun, festive atmosphere. It's of significance for someone. I keep pulling this place too. Art exhibition, creative showcase, curated gallery. Uh huh. There's a few of them that that's coming out. That's it's some great significance. Pay attention. Windswept region. If you've been watching my videos, you know, you know. Breezy gusts, swirling winds, airy expanse, dancing leaves. Tavern. Drinks and beverages, pub food, tavern traditions. Laboratory, scientific research, experiments and analysts, innovation and invention. Laboratory. Bridge, connecting pathway, overcoming divides, bridges of significance. That one stood out as soon as I popped it too, just like the elevator. And that mystic haven and living room. Something in y'all living room. Pay attention to your living room. Shopping mall and shopping malls. Variety of stores, shopping center. And wind set, wind swept regions. Pull one more. Train, subway, railway. Something of a train, subway, railway. A lot of transportation is in this card. These cards with airport, elevator, bridge, train, hotel, like, you know, Mystic Haven. Take it how it resonates. Windswept region, right? Like, yeah, buddy. Subway, railway. Something about possibly public transportation. Mm, I ain't liking this frequency. And the kitchen. Kitchen tools, meal preparation. Is of significance to someone. Kitchen, your kitchen and your living room. All this person. A butcher, ruthless cruelty, slaughter. Oh, shit. Young, 
uh, vitality, innovation, potential growth, guide, navigator, progress, direction. So something about young, the youth, and a butcher. Oh, this is too many. All right, well, we'll take it. We got singer, resonance, moving hearts, harmony, emotion, performance, the fool, ignorance, rashness, impulsiveness, engineer, architect of solutions, engineering practice, problem solver, complex systems, technology, a bartender, master of libation, small talker, alleviator, someone's a genius, bearer of, grit, bearer of gifts, extraordinary intellect, innovative mind, exceptional ability, a gang. Brotherhood of Shadows, Underworld, uh-huh, Transactions, Violence, Criminality. That's that confirmation on this whole reading right there. Young, uh, Vitality, Innovation, Potential Growth, Guide, Navigator, Progress, Direction, Knight, Keeper of Honor, Armor, Battle, Loyalty. You see that Joan of Arc, the Knight? And then you got Aesthetic. A, right? Aesthetic. Uh huh. Seeker of self restraint. Abstinence. Purification. Discipline. Some of y'all might be abstaining from sex at this time. Purifying yourself. Healing. Being disciplined. Then we got butcher. Ruthless. Cruelty. Slaughter. And we got. Where else, spirit? Then we got spiritual seeker, devotee of the inner path, meditation, insight, practice. Dancer, weaver of grace, movement, harmony, rhythm, passion, painter, depict, sublimate, abstraction, form, sensation. That's why we got art exhibition. Then we got clergy. Some spiritual place, clergy, guardians of faith, religion, morality, compassion, sacred mission. Confirmation on that, soldier, guardian of nations, honor, loyalty, integrity, selfless service, an elder, wisdom, bearer, experience, tradition, kindness, health, a chef, culinary maestro, cooking, culinary artistry, seasoning, proficiency, a coach. Train, nurture, develop a plan, encourage, support, and a learner. Seeker of knowledge, inquisitive, progress, a strength, explorer. There's a lot of confirmation coming through on those prior cards through these last two decks. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. You got to come back to this reading. When certain things come to, to light in your life or in the world, remember where you heard it first. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all watching. Let me get you an angel number. Spirit, give us an angel number to end. 7-7, seven, seven, I am brave. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I, I decree and I declare I am brave. I decree and I declare I am brave. I decree and I declare I am brave. 77 may be of significance for some of y'all, but I am brave. All right, y'all. There you go. I'm Calypso Vibes. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Creative Messenger. I hope you guys, um, Creative Messages, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please go check out my other video, my other channel, Star C Messenger. Go like, share, and subscribe at that channel. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you please give this a big thumbs up and a like. It is nothing but free wisdom and knowledge and an informative video and guide. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, 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 please, and turn on that notification bell. Leave a comment down below how this reading resonated. Um, where you're from, what resonated, you know what I mean? Which one of these stuck out for you? And um, turn on that notification so you can be notified when I do these videos. I love y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for all the love and the, Chappelle, the, the support. Let me tell y'all, watch out for Chappelle. Oh, shit. Allegedly for entertainment purposes. Again, this video is all alleged for entertainment purposes. I thank y'all so much for watching again. 
I am Calypso Vibes. Check out my um, website, vibingwithpurpose.com, vibingwithpurpose.com for all your spiritual needs or email me all in the description box and check out my other channel again, uh, Star Sea Messenger, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light, y'all. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.